Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to track your social media advertising in Airtable. And we are going to use two different extensions today in order to do this using the Facebook ads data and bringing that into our Airtable base. So the two extensions that we'll be using to do this are the data fetcher extension and also the charts and reports Airtable extension so that we'll be able to actually see our data and have that visually as well. So when you arrive onto your Airtable base, you want to head over to the extensions to begin, select that button and then select add an extension. Then we're going to search in the top right hand search bar for the data fetcher extension app simply by searching for that and that will appear. Select add and then select add extension. The following page will load where you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. This is where we can import our data. So select the big blue button, create your first request and the following screen will load. From the drop down menu that appears under the application, we are going to select Facebook ads and then we will need to add a new Facebook ads connection. So if you select that big blue button, the following will pop up. And as you can see, I have previously linked data fetcher to Facebook. So I simply have to select continue as myself and that connection happens automatically. If this is the first time you're connecting your Facebook ads, you will just need to then log into your Facebook and make that connection. It's really nice and simple. Then we need to retitle this request. So up here where it says request one, we are going to retitle this as fetch ads metrics. Then we'll select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. The following page will load and under account, you want to go ahead and select your ad account. And for the date range, you can choose whichever of these that you like. I'm going to go for the last seven days. Then for the fields, we want to include impressions, clicks and CPC as well. Now, as an optional step, you can also choose to split the data by different records based on, for example, the date, which we're going to go ahead and do. And this makes it a little bit easier to read your data because then you get a separate record for each date. If you don't choose the split by value option, you will get one record with aggregate tools for the selected date range. Now we can use the filters option. So it's possible to only import data from social media ads that meet certain conditions. And you can select these conditions by selecting add filter and then choosing them from the drop down. So I'd like for my filters to be the impressions greater than 1000, just like so. Perfect. Then make sure that your output table and view is directing to the table one and grid view that will happen automatically. Then you can go ahead and select save and run in the bottom right hand corner again. And the response field mapping will load. This is where you can choose which fields from the Facebook ads import into your Airtable base. So for each of the Facebook ads field, you can either import them or you can filter them out simply by turning that toggle from green to gray and that just switches it off. For this example, we do want to have the impressions, the clicks, the CPC and the date all switched on. So we're going to leave it like that. And as you can see, these all map to new fields with those exact names. Then we're going to select the save and run button in the bottom right hand corner again. And as you can see, these fields are now being created. Select show output table. And now we have that data in our Airtable base. Really cool. But like I said before, we are going to go one step further to visualize and analyze this data from our social media ads. And we're going to turn this data into charts by adding the free charts and reports extension to our base. So back up here in the top right hand corner, we want to select that extensions option. And then we're going to select the add an extension button either here at the top or down here just below that other extension that we have in there. And here we're going to search again in this top right hand search bar, charts and reports, and that will pop up just like that. Select the add button and select add extension. And now the following screen will load where we can select the blue button add chart. And here we're going to choose the line chart just in this lineup of options. 
Once we've done that, we want the x-axis field to show as date. And under y-axis, we want to select the button that reads add y-axis series. And here we're going to input impressions. We'll add a second y-axis series here, select clicks, and again, a third series that will read for CPC. So in the case of our example data, it is a little hard to read the lines as they're plotted on the same y-axis. And as you can see, the impressions dwarves the other values down here. So we can fix this by adding a second y-axis label for impressions with a different range. So back over to the right hand side where we have these options, you'll see next to the data tab that we are on, we have a customized tab. Now we can go down to the bottom and see the second y-axis and turn that toggle from gray to green to show the second y-axis. Now we have this here. For the second y-axis series, select impressions from the menu next to series and for the range we are going to input zero. Now we're going to give our y-axis some labels so that we know which corresponds to which. So over here in the label section, we're going to enter clicks next to y-axis here. And then for the y-axis second, we're going to enter CPC. And as you can see, that information appears into our graph like so. And we are now tracking the performance of our social media ads in Airtable and visualizing the results as a graph. So you can actually use the same approach of importing data with Data Fetcher. And you can also visualize it with the charts and reports to track other types of marketing metrics in Airtable, such as your website's SEO performance. And here on our website at datafetcher.com, you can check out our full length blog on this exact topic if you would like to learn this way as well. But we are always here at Data Fetcher to help you too. And if you do want to check out what other types of data that you can import into your Airtable, you can check out the full list of Airtable integrations here on this blog. And when you select that, you can see all of those options appear. So if you do have any questions, like I said before, reach out to us here at datafetcher.com. But hopefully today you have learned how to track your social media advertising in Airtable. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.